Hello and welcome to Kilted Swine BBQ. I'm your host and pitmaster Bob Sellers JR. Uh, for more information, please consider visiting my website at kiltedswinebbq.com uh, for my books at sellersjr.com. Please consider liking the video as well as subscribing to the channel to see more as they come out. It'll be greatly appreciated. Today, Gitch and I are going to talk to you a little bit about temperature management and your smoker. Each smoker slash grill uh, that you use will have a different methodology of measuring the temperature, typically one thermometer that comes with it. Now, for the most part on a grill, that's okay because you have a fairly small cooking area and one grill, but when you get into a larger cooking area and multiple levels, it can become an issue. So here we go with a couple different variations I have from my three smokers. First, first is my smoker, Gassy Gertie, which was my first smoker I got about a little over eight years ago. It's Masterbuilt Pro. Uh, one of the things many smokers will tell you is the cheapest part of any smoker is going to be the thermometer that comes with it. In this case, I replaced it almost right away. Um, following those tips, as well as when I learned that vertical smokers have different temperatures at different levels. So I went and drilled some holes in the back and using what are considered lamp ports, I put in a thermometer for each level. Back then I did not have um, a remote thermometer as I do today, but this worked just as well to help educate me as what was a hot level and which was a colder level. Um, the level closest to the fire may be the hottest, the level at the top may be the hottest, depending upon what you have in the smoker and what is obstructing the air that is moving through it. Also, in the back, I added ports for the uh, remote sensors that I eventually got and put into it that allowed me to monitor the temperature away from the smoker. Uh, that way I don't pinch them in the door um, when I close the door, but then again you could theoretically use the vents that are available to it as well. Now when I got to my offset smoker I ran into the issue that comes with an Oklahoma Joe is that it typically came with one thermometer so I replaced that thermometer and put in a second one of the same type for both sides. Now you notice the thermometers are placed towards the top of the smoking chamber. This works as long once you get used to using them that way but I wanted to know the temperature at the grate level. Now initially, this, the two thermometers that I used, both here and in uh, Gassy Gertie, uh, offered me the ability to monitor the temperature at the grate level. Now I haven't cleaned up Mean Jolene as of my last smoke, but you can see how I have a sensor or probe on one side as well as the other that these two measure and then I have an AJY that I put in the other side that I have monitoring the grill temperature as well as a probe I'm sorry the, the grill temperature uh, is, is monitored by the AJY as well as with my pitmaster IQ 110 which uh, also checks the actual grill temperature versus the ambient temperature now I also can have food probes if I choose to or mount those as the other probes are to keep track of how honest you know, the other temperature uh, monitors are as, as they cook. Now I have a diffuser plate installed in the bottom of my Oklahoma Joe as well as a lowering kit to keep the smoke in the chamber longer. I will point out that on the manufacturer's website they do explicitly say not to use both in the same smoker uh, because you'll get a problem with the uh, airflow through your smoker. Now in my case I've not yet had that problem and I really got rid of it when I added the uh, IQ 110 that uh, forces air through the smoker. Um, I've also added a do-it-yourself rain cap that you can see here. Um, basically it's a uh, extension with an elbow that's straightened out and taped up with aluminum tape and a vent at the top. Um, by having expanded out, it seems to pull the air uh, through it a bit better than I was experiencing before, and it protects it uh, from, from rain and the elements when I'm cooking. Um, with the firebox, 
I have modified it a little bit where I have the uh, box for the charcoal or wood. In my case, I start with charcoal and shift to wood. I also have fire bricks beneath it so that there is more airflow around the fire. Um, as I'll get to in a moment, you can see I have a hole down there for the IQ 110 to push air through and uh, it allows me to better control the fire. Now I went and I added some of these that are adjustable moving back and forth however you want to position them to allow me to keep the fire limited to one side or the other initially or airflow to come up underneath. I no longer keep my vent that open on the firebox because I rely on the IQ 110 to push the air through. Now as a shout out to grilling with rye, I have modified my firebox with a pipe and a nipple with a ball valve that allows me to hook up the 110 and then I have the 110 over here that uh, would push the air through. I don't have it plugged in for this video but this is how I typically would have that hooked up. Um, I will have a link to his video on the modifications he did um, and I work really well with my uh, Oklahoma Joe. With the size of the smoker I added more ports, uh, one for the uh, alligator clip and the other probes on one side and on the other because you don't necessarily know which side you're going to be putting your probes in or how far they're going to go across. Much like the lamp works on Gassy Gertie, I put one initially in the middle here that uh, will allow me to put probes through in the center and move them accordingly. Now, with the thermometers it, where they are located, you learn a balancing act because you learn to know what your thermometer is going to read versus what's on the grill as you become used to using your smoker. The only disadvantage I have with my Oklahoma Joe in particular is she is not insulated. Um, me and Jolene uh, has issues when it comes to rain and uh, you just deal with it as most uh, Oklahoma Joe smokers do and build a fire or if you can you bring the meat inside and finish it in the oven as need be. That being said, I have since recently purchased an Assassin 24 Black Betty. Now she is insulated um, and has a great deal of heat retention so that if you have rain or other weather of sorts uh, she is less likely to have issues. Now at the moment I don't have the rain cap on but I can show you how easy it is to install it should you forget to do it. As it is, I store the rain cap inside the smoker. And I wanted to open this up to show you that I have a probe on each level. Now I use the third uh, level down where I have my IQ uh, 120 measuring the grate temperature and then I have the uh, AGY measuring the ambient temperature and then I have a probe on the bottom. Um, you'll find with the Assassin 24 that the top most rack tends to be the hottest where the bottom one is probably the next because it's closest to the fire and then the middle two vary depending upon what is on them, what is below them and what you know what different things that are in the smoker to block the flow of air through it. The thermometer that I have is fairly accurate but you have to understand the dynamics of the assassin to understand why they may not all agree at the same time. With the assassin smoker, uh, the, my particular variation of it has the chute and firebox on the back, which means that at any given time the smoke is going to be coming up and out to the sides and the front of the way the baffle is set inside the smoker. Now, what I mean by that is if you open up the smoker and look down below, you can see how it's set to come out and split off to the sides. I don't know if I can get a really good shot of that, but you can see the baffle underneath and then the baffle under the water that forces the air and smoke to the sides and to the front. 
So theoretically, the way mine is designed, you could have different temperatures based upon where you have your probe. So I put mine in the back and I come to understand when I check the temperature in the front what is going on with the temperature there. Now when you come around to the back, when I ordered my Assassin 24, by default it comes with one port. Now I knew that I would be uh, using several probes through it, much like with my Gassy Gertie. Um, I had them add a second port on the other side, so you can see how I have one uh, for the Pitmaster IQ120 as well as the AJY. Now the AJY uh, thermometer is a great uh, investment. It's inexpensive compared to some of the other models you find. It offers up to six probes um, on each of the units. Um, I happen to own two uh, because I wanted to have one for um, me and Jolene as well as Black Betty and it was almost a mix of prices of ordering extra pros versus ordering a second unit. So in my case I have two or one is a backup if need be um, if that should ever happen. The only issue that you will run into with the AJY is their phone app only allows one unit to be active at any one time which is fine. Um, but it, do, it does measure quite accurately and uh, gives you a variety of options. So I hope you found this to be helpful when you're considering. Um, again, out on my website at kiltedswinebbq.com, I have some videos of reviews of different thermometers um, that you can look at. Now, the other thing you want to consider is your thermometers. Now, this one is one I'll link down below that I use. It measures the surface temperature of your meat. This is another option that I initially got. It's a great thermometer, but it has a slow read. Um, I recently purchased this one, which has a fold-out that allows you to measure your meat from different angles. And it's a very fast measure. Um, where that can become important is if your hand is over a hot fire or not. Um, at any rate, these are also things to consider. I'll put links to each of these down in the notes. Um, I don't have an association with any other than owning the products. Um, I will have uh, links that may be at Amazon Associates links. You don't pay any extra for that, but it does uh, give the uh, support for the uh, website. At any rate, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, discussion um, and if you like the video please select like uh, and press subscribe to see more videos as they come out and I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks and have a great day.